I'm going to show you how to do some simple selections. Uh, this tool here, if you mouse over it, hold it down, it's called the Quick Selection Tool. And it has a subset, and that is Selection Brush Tool and Quick Selection Tool. And that's the one I'm using. So anyway, I click anywhere, and it grabs to the edge. And notice that it has left out an ear, so you just click on the ear and it gets a little more than I want there but I'll show you how to get rid of that anyway going to do an edit copy and move over to another file that I have open um, with a better sky and then do edit paste and automatically gives you a uh, new layer so now I'm going to select that and resize it And I think that's kind of what I want. Now, if I had worked a little harder on this with the selection, then what I would have copied over would have been almost perfect. So with the selection tool, uh, quick selection still selected, you can click on Refine Edge and play around with the feathering. Now, the less you go, uh, the closer it gets and the more out you go, it just wipes out the image. Also, you can play with the contrast. And that helps a lot when you have shadows. And once you get it where you think you want it, click OK. And also select inverse changes your selection to be the outside so then you can just press delete and all of that is gone. Now you can also do refined edges here. And see how it becomes uh, just a matter of plain. Um, also um, you can hide the background layer use the eraser tool, but before you do you want to really zoom in. And then of course with the eraser tool it may be too big or it may just be perfect. And um, I forgot to deselect so nothing's happening. There we go. Anyway, again, if you uh, want to copy this layer, you can. But it's easier now just to minimize both of these pictures um, and drag this one again. doesn't want to come to the forefront. I've got too many things open. Lord, Lord. Okay, then the Move tool. And drag it again into this other photo. Um, take this layer. Uh, which is the bigger layer. Right click and delete it. And agree to to that. Oops, I hit the wrong thing. Go back to layer 2. Um, I want to resize this as well. And I think that's good right there. And of course I can maximize this window. And of course there's other things you might want to do, like lighten everything up, um, refine edges some more, because look, we can still see a little bit of a haze. Also, um, let me commit to that real quick. Um, you can change the opacity of the current layer so that you have a ghost image. And that's it. Thank you for watching.